hello and welcome. In this channel, I talk about current issues that either affect or are of interest to many. I try my best to present the issue in a clear and concise manner. I encourage you to leave a comment in case I left out something important you found regarding the topic. In today's video, I will talk about fast fashion. As this is still a new channel, I would encourage people to give feedback in the comments about what you liked and disliked in the video so I can adjust accordingly. The world of fast fashion is best illustrated through a story. Here is Abby. Abby is scrolling through TikTok and sees a post of her favorite influencer in a new piece of clothing she recently bought from Sheen at an incredibly low price. She continues scrolling and sees more posts of people rocking similar pieces and they all look good in them. So, naturally, Abby, like any normal college student, closes the app, immediately goes to Sheen webpage and acquires this absolute bargain. While there, she makes other purchases of things she doesn't necessarily need, but because they are extremely cheap, she decides, why not, add a few extra pieces. Abby's case relates to many of us. Shopping has become a hobby. We want new clothes fast and cheap to meet the new fashion trends everyone is talking about. The feeling of being left out simply doesn't sit right with us. So how can we make this possible? That's where fast fashion companies such as Zara, H&M and Sheen come into play. These fast fashion companies meet consumer demand by setting incredibly low prices that appease to the ever-growing market. Their policy, the more the merrier. A win-win situation to both parties, right? You get cheap items and in return they get a higher profit due to the ever-increasing sales. Everyone benefits but one. Our planet. The environmental damage this type of business has caused is simply alarming. In an era of growing climate consciousness, it is astonishing how this is even possible. Fast fashion is usually cheap, poorly made clothing, usually produced in bulk in response to the latest trends. The industry accounts for about 10% of global carbon emission and approximately 20% of global water pollution annually. To get a proper understanding of how much of a problem this is, think of it this way. Every clothes that you wear today has already contributed to either type of pollution and will eventually lead to more water pollution or end up in landfills in the future. When these companies are asked how they tackle this obvious environmental issue, the answer is simple. Times have changed. Production of our clothes is now sustainable, eco-friendly and saves water through recycling. To make these claims possible, you need huge resources and finances, which eventually affect clothes prices. So how come their clothes are cheaper? The only way that these companies maintain cheap pieces is by outsourcing labor from developing countries and paying these workers little or no wages or flouting any set of environmental standards. Clothing production has doubled since the early 2000s with over 120 billion of clothes produced annually. The internet and social media have been major contributors to this acceleration. Influences of millions of followers on platforms such as YouTube, TikTok and Instagram promote new trends and present bargains on a daily basis and thus more and more purchases are made. But all is not lost. Clothes renting companies just as Nulu Rent the Runway have shown that we don't necessarily need to buy new clothes to look good. Their policy is that when an item is worn multiple times and shared across people, it is better than a single buyer wearing the item three or four times and then discarding it or for simply forgetting it. Other companies have introduced water treatment plants that purify the contaminated water before releasing it into the river. However, it is really expensive to run and maintain and for companies looking to cut costs by all means, they simply refrain from using this method. One way we can contribute towards solving this problem is by buying less and ensuring that clothes last longer than just three wears. We can make our clothes last longer by Washing clothes less often? How many times have you just tossed clothes in the laundry basket after wearing them just once without really considering if it really needed to be washed? Avoid machine drying and preferably take the clothes out to dry in the sun. 
To most of us, shopping is becoming an addiction and this is where most problematic part of it all comes in, consumerism without need. Before acquiring any new piece of clothing, ask yourself this question, will these clothes be reworn? How versatile are these clothes? Can they be styled more than just three things? As always, thank you for listening and thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe and give the comment a thumbs up.